for the rest of the evening tonight, winds have died down, thankfully. This is not going to be plaguing us as we cross over into your Sunday. Most of us stagnant winds, but those of us who are seeing a little bit of a breeze, it's still coming from the north and from the west. So that's continually driving down our temperatures and adding more of a chill to the air. So here's what we can expect for the rest of the evening. The further north and closer to Pennsylvania you are or off to the north and west, the cooler you're going to be. Cumberland at 34, 40 as we look towards Hagerstown, but 30 in Westminster and 39 in Elkton. This may go down just a little bit further into the state and though a lot of us are still in the 40s, we may slip and join into the 30s before sunrise. Typically, this is the coolest spot and coolest part of our day, right ahead of that sunrise. And well, it seems to be true as we head into your Sunday as well. So as we wind down for the evening, if you do have plans for a night on the town for a late Saturday night, Grab a jacket, grab a coat, and a windbreaker on top. Never a bad idea because your thermal layer, even with a light breeze, could be subject uh, to interruption, meaning your body heat, your internal heating mechanism could be jeopardized by some wind pushing through. So the extra barriers will go a long way. Looking at Baltimore, the city proper, we're down into the 30s, but the upper 30s, as well as Stevensville, but surrounding areas where a few winds are still intact and where we may not have as much cloud coverage, they're subject to slip further into the 30s and maybe even into the lower 30s. So it's going to be a spectrum of the 30s into the evening tonight. All of us, though, jumping into the 50s and 60s pretty quickly as we go into tomorrow because we have winds not necessarily working against us and sunshine. And that will boost temperatures as we head into the afternoon to well above average for this time of year and feel very much like actual spring instead of meteorological spring, which it's only called that for record keeping purposes, but it's nice when the temperatures reflect it. High pressure influencing our temperatures and our conditions as we go into tomorrow. We're going to see some sunshine and that's going to spread into next week. We'll see a cool down by Wednesday, but the 50s return as well as some rain by Saturday of next weekend. Kelsey.